public school budgets are expected to grow an average 2.85% across Long Island to a total of $12.8 billion in 2018-19, the biggest proposed spending boost in five years. School taxation, meanwhile, is projected to increase an average 2.37% on the island to more than $8.7 billion, according to official property tax report cards released Wednesday by the State Education Department. That also is the largest rise in taxation since that of the 2013-14 school year. The reports cover 121 of the 124 districts in the Nassau-Suffolk region and more than 660 systems statewide. Three East End districts, New Suffolk, Sagaponic and Wainscot, were exempted from reporting because of their small size. Most districts will stay within the state's tax cap limits, but proposed spending in the Greenport and North Belmore systems would require overrides of their local caps. The tax restrictions vary widely by district because of school costs that are exempted, such as voter-approved borrowing for school construction and renovation. Voters go to the polls May 15 to decide on proposed spending plans and school board races in local districts. Greenport's school administration is supporting an override there, the third within six years, with other such efforts in 2012 and 2016 gaining voter approval. In North Belmore, two community groups have petitioned for expanded bus transportation that would require a tax cap override. Under state law, district budgets that exceed cap restrictions must be approved by at least 60% of those voting, rather than a simple majority. Get our insider's look and analysis of the key moments in the Mangano Vendita trial. By clicking sign up, you agree to our privacy policy. School taxation accounts for about two-thirds of homeowners' tax bills on the island, which consistently ranks among the most heavily assessed regions in the country. Budget plans vary widely depending on local circumstances. Jericho and Mattatick Kutchog have proposed small spending cuts, while 12 districts, including Bridgehampton, Copiag, Merrick and West Babylon, envision hikes of 4% or more. Heather Petretti's pre-K students sing a counting song Tuesday at Greenport Elementary School in Greenport. Photo credit, Randy Dodona, districts were very mindful this year, in particular, of what their communities needed, said Lars Clemenson, the school's chief in Hampton Bays and president of the Suffolk County School Superintendents Association. For some, that meant keeping school tax increases under the cap. For others, it meant providing school security or investment in the social and emotional needs of kids. Increases in tax and spending proposals for the 2018-19 school year, though the highest in five years, remain relatively low compared with raises of a decade ago. Taxpayer activists credit slower growth to the caps first imposed on school districts in 2012-13 under Governor Andrew M. Cuomo. It has worked, effectively. It's not as effective as it was, but it's a lot better than the 5-10% to increases we used to get, said Fred Gorman, chairman of the Nisconset Sachem Civic Association and a longtime regional taxpayer advocate. Let's give Governor Cuomo some credit. North Belmore, an elementary district with about 2,000 students in preschool through 6th grade, faces a tax situation that might be dubbed the Battle of the Buses. One parent group has petitioned to increase the number of children in grades 4 through 6 who are eligible for busing to local public schools. Another group is seeking to expand transportation for children attending non-public schools, going beyond the minimum set by state law. The cost of more busing would increase North Belmore's tax levy, that is, total revenue collected through property taxation, by as much as 5.31% next year, according to district officials. A hike that size would exceed the district's cap limit of 3.4%, and thus require approval by at least 60% of those who vote on May 15. Some residents are reacting to the push for more busing by sponsoring their own measure cutting back on transportation. Meanwhile, the school board has its proposal on the ballot to maintain busing at current levels, which would keep the district within its cap. The North Belmore District's budget brochure takes the better part of three pages to explain the four differing approaches to student transit. We're hoping that all the propositions don't confuse the community, said Mark Schisler, the district's assistant superintendent for business. Greenport projects a 4.62% tax hike for 2018-19, well above its allowed 2.62% cap. The district had reported to the state comptroller's office in March, as part of state budgeting rules, that it was not considering a cap override. But Superintendent David Gamberg told Newsday he changed his mind on the issue after reviewing the district's rising costs for the coming year, including the hiring of a security guard. 
At a budget meeting in mid-April, residents were told that the only way to remain within the tax cap while meeting rising costs would be to cut programs in other areas, such as pre-kindergarten and high school electives. Residents who spoke out supported a cap override, with some saying later they wanted to avoid the sort of teacher layoffs that Greenport imposed some years back. We're slowly trying to build our way back, and we cannot take a step backward, said Kim Swan, an insurance broker who heads the district's parent-teacher organization. Here are projected school budget and tax increases for 2018-19, Nassau average spending, 2.92% average tax levy, 2.21% Suffolk average spending, 2.79% average tax levy, 2.54% Long Island average spending, 2.85% average tax levy, 2.37% source, property tax report cards, state education department districts with cap busting ballot proposals Greenport proposed budget for 2018-19 carries tax levy increase of 4.62%, above the state's limit of 2.62%. North Belmore, proposition's on student transportation, if approved by voters, could raise the tax levy as much as 5.31%, above the state's limit of 3.4%. The district's proposed budget stays within the cap.